Am I wrong for leaving a wedding to go eat at McDonald's? Hi, I'm female 25. Recently, my colleague, 31 female, invited me to her wedding, which happened yesterday. I was super excited and happy for her. Just in case, I asked her if there were any guest fees. She said, no, you don't need to pay me anything. On the day itself, everything went well until the reception, dinner time. To my shock, I was presented with a wedding menu that had prices on it. For example, steak, $50. Everything was ridiculously expensive, including the vegetarian options. At first, I wanted to question her because, well, she lied to me that I didn't have to pay for anything, but it was her wedding and I didn't want to spoil her day by embarrassing her in front of everyone. I have never been to a wedding where you've had to pay for dinner. Like, that is bonkers to me. Also note, I've only been to Afghan weddings and we kind of pride ourselves in making sure everyone is full on food and like we pride ourselves on dinner, honestly. So maybe that's why. Is it normal to pay for food at a wedding? However, the only other option was to simply not eat as I didn't bring enough money for both a meal and a ride back. But this was completely unfavorable as I had skipped my lunch to save space for the wedding meal and was pretty hungry. I'm guilty of this. When I know I'm going to an event or a wedding, I will most definitely not eat anything all day because I'm going to grub at the party. Suddenly, I remembered that I saw a McDonald's about 5 minutes away from the hotel. As tactfully as I could, I asked the bride if I could make a quick stop to McDonald's as I didn't bring enough money for the reception meal. I said that I'd be back in time for the gift ceremony and cake. Why would you tell her? I would just go. Is that normal? I thought she'd agree, but to my horror, she got really upset. She said that she put in so much effort to get this Michelin star restaurant service, yet I still wasn't happy. That I was trying to bring her down by saying that I'd rather eat McDonald's. Yeah, not gonna lie, but McDonald's hits the spot when you're hungry. Alarmed, I said that I didn't mean it that way. I just didn't have the cash for it. She then scoffed and said, whose fault is that? Mmm! Although I was trying to keep my anger, those words really pissed me off. So I told her, you were the one who lied that I didn't need to pay anything. Getting angry as well, she replied, what I meant was that there was no attendance fee. You literally assumed that you'd get a free five course dinner. Wow, you're cheaper than I thought. With a glare, she asked me to leave her wedding. I did, struck dumb and rather hurt. And on my way home, I grabbed a Big Mac, lol. Back at home, I told my boyfriend everything and asked if I was an asshole. He thought it was a funny story, but said I was an asshole. If I didn't have the money, I could always pay her back later. In his exact words, he said, you chose the wrong time to be stingy. My other friends agree as well, saying that it was not tactful of me for doing that at the wedding. And although she lied, I should have just brushed it off instead of dampering her happy spirits. After hearing their opinions, I feel quite guilty and embarrassed. However, that one little part of me still thinks that is justified because one, she lied to me and two, publicly humiliated humiliated me. Please help me out here. Am I the asshole? I think, I don't know why you went up to her and told her that you were leaving. Just leave. Like, I don't know why you felt the need. If someone came up to me at my wedding and said, hey, I'm going to get McDonald's, I would feel, I would get rubbed the wrong way too. It's like, what? You don't want to get the food that I'm providing? But I would also never expect someone to pay for a meal at my wedding. Am I the asshole for hating a puppy? I'm a preface with saying I hate dogs. I can't stand them. I think they're gross and I do anything to avoid them in my life. Y'all, by the way, this is not my story. I am a dog mom of two and I love them. On to the story. I have a six month old son and he's the best kid in the entire world. We were at a neighborhood park and the dogs are supposed to stay leashed. My son, my wife, and I were having a picnic and having such a great time. Our baby was on a blanket and having the time of his life, rolling around playing and giggling. We were kind of near a walking path and the next thing I know, there's a pair of puppies coming right at us. They were unleashed and the owner was just looking. Am I the asshole for hating a puppy? I didn't notice the puppies until they were pretty much on our blanket and at that point, I picked up my son and yelled what the F to the guy. He looked appalled that I didn't enjoy the stunt his dogs and him pulled. My wife is yelling at him, I'm yelling at him, and I straight up say, I hate your dogs, can you get them? His puppies are just sitting on our blanket expecting to get petted and I just start walking towards the guy and yell at him to get his dogs. He starts getting mad at us and saying they're friendly and just wanted to play. But I said he ruined our lunch and he said they're just puppies. I don't care and I just want him and his dogs gone so I just keep cussing at him and he finally grabs the dogs and says who doesn't like puppies. Am I the asshole for calling my sister and her husband shitty parents from the start because of what they want to name their kid? I am a man who was given a woman's name at birth. A good example is naming your son Alice. It's not what my name was but it's close. My parents are hippies and gave their oldest son a girl's name to stick it to the man and I will never forgive them for it.
That name caused me to be bullied and damaged my professional life in ways I can't describe. My sister is pregnant with her first child, a girl, and she and her husband are ecstatic. Last night, she revealed that the name of her daughter will be Crystal. K-R-X-S-T-X-L Am I the asshole for calling my sister and her husband shitty parents from the start because of what they want to name their kid? I was not surprised that my mom helped her come up with the name. I told her it was a terrible idea and if she wants to name her Crystal, name her Crystal. She tried to explain why the X's are there and I told her it doesn't matter. She's naming a human, not a dog, and I don't care what kind of fashion statement she's trying to make, this is a person. She and my mom brushed me off and said I'm complaining because I was never able to accept my name. I told my sister she was either selfish, stupid, or both if she thinks her daughter will want that name. And I said I already see her and her husband as shitty parents. Am I the asshole for ignoring my boyfriend after our vacation because he brought his brother along? I'm male 23, I'm a pharmacy student, and my boyfriend of 4 years, male 32, is a lawyer. Between the stress at school and the stress of his job, we barely see each other or have any intimate time. So we took a vacation where it would be about us regaining that lost intimacy, but day two of our vacation in Turks and Caicos, someone's knocking on our door. To my surprise and complete confusion, it's my boyfriend's brother, male 29. I ask what he's doing here and he says my boyfriend invited him. My boyfriend looks sheepish but says it would be a good time to bond with his brother. Am I the asshole for ignoring my boyfriend after our vacation because he brought his brother along? I was furious but decided I could make it work. We had so many things pre-planned and pre-paid so I figured his brother couldn't come with us. Well, he didn't tag along because my boyfriend decided to go with his brother. Horseback riding was traded for wakeboarding, couple massages were traded for snorkeling, and getting a nice quiet table for two turned into getting a quiet table for three. Intimate time in bed was also traded for a quickie in the shower so he could leave for golf and I had had it. On the next morning to leave, I said not a word to my boyfriend. Do you have the key card? Silence. Do you want me to carry bags? Silence. Am I the asshole for telling my child's daycare teacher that my child doesn't have to finish cleaning up? My two-year-old daughter has been in a home daycare for a few months now. The teacher, Sasha, is very nice and I'm normally all for my daughter cleaning her own messes. However, when I arrive, Sasha expects my daughter to finish cleaning up whatever she was playing with, which would be fine, but it delays us getting out the door, heading home, and sometimes we have plans. I started texting Sasha beforehand, asking her to get my daughter ready, and that seemed to work. She'd be in a jacket and reading a book, which was easy to put away versus a huge project. Things were great until today. Am I the asshole for telling my child's daycare teacher that my child won't finish cleaning up? Things were crazy and I was in a rush and we had a lot to do this afternoon and I was running behind because I had car trouble. When I arrived, my daughter and some friends were in the middle of cleaning up a big mess. I told my daughter we had to go and to get her coat. That's when Sasha said she needed to finish cleaning up her part and I said any other day, sure, but I'm running late and we can't miss this appointment. Sasha tried arguing that kids need to learn responsibility and I flat out said no. Then I grabbed my daughter, put her coat on, and left. Now she's accusing me of undermining her authority and gave me a verbal warning. Am I the asshole for having a dry wedding and serving only water for drinks? My husband and I are getting married later this year and each of our sides of the family are fairly big. It'll be 150 people and my husband and I are paying for this ourselves as well as my grandmother. We have a lot of kids in our family, so we decided against making it child-free, but we decided to make it dry. There will be no alcohol of any kind, and honestly, this doesn't have anything to do with there being kids, but because me and my fiancé don't drink. On top of that, we really only drink water, and we rarely, if ever, drink soda, so most of the time, it's only water. Am I the asshole for having a dry wedding and serving only water for drinks? Obviously, the food, which is a part my grandma is paying for, is going to be expensive for that many people. There will also be so many choices to choose from, but only water will be provided. We don't want to pay for alcohol or soda, and it's just a large added expense when we can do filtered water for a much cheaper cost. Well, when my family and friends found out, some of them got really angry. They said we could have at least had an open bar or we should have at least had soda because how can we expect everyone to drink only water? The kids will be upset and the wedding will be boring. 
Am I in the wrong for calling my sister a coke whore? I, 18 female, live with my parents and my sister, Joanne, 23 female. Joanne has a cocaine habit and she claims it's normal in her job and it's just a lifestyle of chefing, yada yada. My parents seem to be ignoring it since Joanne pays her rent on time and keeps to herself when she's in the house and doesn't cause many problems. I'm a college student on a government grant and I'm in college Monday to Friday up until 5 to 6 p.m. Working isn't really an option for me right now, so I don't go out much and I spend all my money on college supplies. Joanne doesn't seem to understand this and is always asking to borrow money and whatnot. I always say no because I only have 40 euros every week to spend on college stuff and travel to college. I got a Christmas bonus on my grant and I ended up deciding to book tickets for a smallish local gig that's next week. I booked two, one for me and one for my best friend because her birthday is the same day and she loves that type of music. It was meant to be a surprise for her. I had told Joanne about this on one of her good days because I was genuinely excited to finally do something and live the college student lifestyle for a night. The tickets were digital on an account shared with my parents. Joanne had asked for the login telling them that she wanted to book tickets to something, but she was lying and used it to sell my tickets for drug money. I didn't find out until I had gotten the email to confirm that the tickets were sent to someone else and I was really confused at first. I checked and they were sent to someone that I know Joanne knows. I went straight to her when she got home and asked what the fuck she did and she tried lying but I showed her proof that I went to someone she knows and told her that I wanted my money back then and there. She told me it was gone already. I lost my mind and started yelling at her because it was unfair. My mom was just in from work and I was screaming at my sister who was crying at that point saying that she was sorry and she didn't know it would upset me this much. My mom got involved and told me to keep my voice down and we'll talk about it and I told her to shut up and stay out of it. I ended up saying something along the lines of why is it fair that you get to do this to me when I've never even drank alcohol or smoked weed? Why does the co cork get to be the golden child but not me? My mom stepped in and put a stop to it then and there. My sister had started screaming back at me for what I called her. My mom said that I was out of line and she just made a mistake. I told my mom that her mistake cost me the only night out I'll have been able to have all year so she should hear what I have to say about it. My mom thinks I was in the wrong for what I said and my sister won't even look at me even though it's been three days and I tried apologizing. So 